I was diagnosed in November of 96 with breast cancer. So it's almost 23 years. It was an experience that no one wants to go through, but I came out better on the other side. I came out a different person. I had always wondered what it was I was gonna do when I grew up. You know, I'd been in the business world for years. After I was diagnosed with cancer and went through the treatment, I realized that what I really wanted to do was help other people on their journey. There isn't anything that Sally won't do for the cancer patient and or their families. She comes from a place of knowing. She hasn't forgot what it's like to have cancer and as a survivor, she's just relentless. She's a giving person. She wants to help patients through their cancer and their treatment. My cancer can't define me. I won't let it but I want to be there for someone else just so they can know that it's not the end of the world. She comes from a place that the clinical staff can't come from, and so she brings that extra special something to all of our cancer patients and their families. What we are as a volunteer are the navigators or bridge between the cancer patient and their caregivers. I think she does it because she's a wonderful person. She knows where they're coming from and she wants to really and truly give back. There's always questions. And fortunately, there's no such thing as a stupid question because I've walked in the shoes and I know how tight they are. But I also know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and it's not the oncoming train. I don't know how to explain the, the reward. It's personal, but it's very fulfilling. It's not the kind of thing that I would have sought out 20 years ago. I'm not where I thought I would be, but I'm where I need to be, if that makes any sense. She typically will do um, probably a day every week, but she's working even when she's not there. Sometimes when an ACS volunteer might call in sick or maybe a patient got scheduled on a day that we didn't have a volunteer, I can always count on Sally. Well, I call her up and Sally says, I'll be right there. And that's how she is. I'll be right there, you know? There are days when I wish that I could say no, but it's not in my vocabulary and it's because it's very important. She is going to make sure those cancer patients get what they need. If the program isn't providing it, she's gonna tell us we need it. Somewhere along the line, I had the aha moment, and here I am, <laughs> sitting with you, trying to justify the award that I'm being given. She's the most deserving person for this award. Um, she gives and gives and gives and never stops. And that's what makes her truly unique and special to our cancer patients. No matter what we throw at you, you just keep going because your main interest is helping the patient. I'm deeply honored to be receiving this award. I'm thrilled, I'm humbled, but I don't feel deserving. I love Sally. <laughs> And she knows that she's very deserving of this award, and we couldn't have picked a better person for it. My first thought when I was diagnosed with cancer, this is really selfish, was, oh, I just paid cash for a car. I mean, I was thinking of, of the end, not the beginning. It's been a heck of a journey, and I've actually enjoyed most of it. Join my group. <laughs> I am looking for volunteers. <laughs>